there is going to be a very special new addition to the Lok Sabha and it is going to be the historic Sengol that uh, denotes transfer of power and that's going to be back in the parliament. Now remember this is of course a big achievement also. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be recreating a moment from history when he installs the traditional Sengol from 1947 in the new Lok Sabha on the day of inauguration of the new premises of the building. Installation process will take place during the inauguration of the building by the PM. Now this Sengol as you're looking at on your screen is 5 feet 3 inches tall, also covered with a thick sheet of gold. The Sengol has a Nandi bull on the top as you can see and Goddess Lakshmi inscribed on it. Sources close to India today have revealed that the occasion will be replete with Tamil tradition. The Sengol was received by independent India's first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru from Lord Mountbatten to symbolically represent the transfer of power from the British and it was later kept in a museum in Allahabad. So remember from there, from then 1947, it was in the museum and now it is going to be back into the Lok Sabha. India Today also spoke to C.R. Kesavan, the great grandson of India's first Governor General C. Raj Gopalachari, whose idea it was to make the Sengal a symbolic transfer of power. So listen in to what he has to say. If you remember in 1927 when the you know current old parliament building was inaugurated, it was done by Lord Irwin, the Governor General. That ceremony was bereft of any you know uh, cul any culture or tradition related to India. But now when you see on May 28th when our Honorable Prime Minister is going to be inaugurating the new building, I can proudly say that we can celebrate and cherish it with, you know, a timeless tradition and our civilizational heritage from time immemorial. Uh, you know, uh, as you have narrated, the most important thing here, uh, uh, you know, Shiv is this, you know, like what, what's been happening with the Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav, mm. you know, there have been so many incidents, so many heroes and heroines unsung, so many untold milestones, which we never got to know about. Absolutely. When uh, Kashi Sangamam happened, you know that you knew the innate connect between the South and the North. Then when, you know, your uh, Madhupuri Mela happened, you knew there was a connect between Gujarat and the Mishi tribes. You know, uh, in Arunachal Pradesh, where Rukmini, the uh, you know the uh, deity of Lord, uh, the wife of Lord Krishna is. You know, there was the East and West connect. Similarly, this tale of the Sengol reiterates the civilizational commonality and the civilizational connect we have.